Okay, so we're gonna start blending in our necks. Um, I use a tool. Mine is made by Fromm. I don't know what it's called. It's a hair razor, I think. Um, you can get them from Sally's Beauty Supply or I order them from Amazon. It's a razor blade with a comb attachment on it. And you can use it to help blend. And you want a good pair of thinning scissors. So what you're gonna do, Take your line, and I brush it up with my slicker brush, and go down at an angle, and start to blend. And you can keep brushing up. until you start getting a nice blend line. Okay. After I've worked with a thinning scissor a couple of times, I'm gonna take my razor tool, I'm gonna to pull the skin tight, and this is gonna help me make my blend line nice and clean. And you can see where you're starting to get a nice blend line here. And you can work on the blend line every day in between shows. Periodically take the neck back down, but you can keep working on your blend line in between each show. Now I like to take my stripping knife. I'm use a regular stripping knife. And clean up this hair behind the ears. Also take the stripping knife and this long fuzzy hair here. I strip out with the stripping knife so you have a nice clean ear. You want to be careful that you don't put holes in the dog while you're doing this. And leave bare patches because it's easy to do if you pluck just a little too much. But all this fuzzy hair here. You can take your stripping knife and just comb the ear and you'll take fuzzies out if they have them. She doesn't have very much. You're gonna take, I like curved scissors, you can use straight scissors. And all this long hair along the edge of the ear you're going to edge. Be very careful. I like to take my finger and my thumb and put it along the ear leather. So that I don't get the ear leather. I also usually use, this is a dull pair of scissors, I use a dull pair of scissors to edge the ear just in case they shake a head. It's so easy to cut an ear leather that I like my dull scissors because they edge the ear just fine, and if the dog moves wrong, I don't end up taking a piece of ear off. And you can see, and I still have some long hair there to, to clean up. Okay, and you can start to see how this really cleans up the neck. You can also take your stripping knife and again, pull the skin tight. And you can take your stripping knife and add your blending and you see the hair that you take out there. But you see the pretty picture that that starts to make. Now, on a tricolor dog where there isn't a lot of white, when you get time for the ring, okay, you can always grow a little bit of that back in or color it a little bit with chalk um, so that it matches. I like dogs with big white necks like she does not have because then you don't have to do that. But it does change the color a little bit. You do have to go in and color sometimes. Okay.
So we would do the other side of the neck the same way. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll move on to something else.